Discover these 5 secrets for awesome rewards so that your journeys in Genshin Impact can become even more exciting. There's a mysterious traveling merchant that will offer you materials needed for ascending your characters into higher levels. Finding this merchant is quite easy as you will simply need to follow the road above the Windrise area. What you're looking for is a tiny merchant called Chloris and she can be a little tricky to find as she sometimes wanders off the main road but you shouldn't have much trouble locating her. Now at first look these items won't excite you, but on later levels, you will have a hard time farming some of these items. That's because, even though you can collect them in the world outside, they have a pretty long cooldown before they reappear again. Stocking up on these materials as early as possible gives you a nice, secured future. For example, Wolf Hook is needed to ascend Razor, Valberry is for Lisa and Noelle, and Philanemo Mushrooms are for Barbara, which is a very good healer to have around. Finally, before you exit the shop, make sure to keep an eye on the timer so you will know when the stock will refresh and can return back for some more. Something that Genshin Impact fails to explain properly is that many characters in the game have their own special dishes. You can't cook these dishes like usual and instead you need to select a character before cooking it for a chance to transform it into its own special cuisine. The best example for any beginning player would be to use Kaya. You will most likely have collected a lot of ingredients in your journeys and cooking a chicken mushroom skewer shouldn't be a problem. Now before you continue, select Kaya as your chef and take notice that only with this certain dish Kaya has a chance of obtaining a special dish instead. You will now have a chance to randomly obtain a superior quality cuisine that provides better bonuses. If you're lacking some of the ingredients, you might need to process them, which takes real time to do it, but the game can be turned off. Or you might also need to go and visit a general goods vendor who will sell you those tomatoes that Lisa is craving for her spaghetti dish. While climbing mountains is a big part of Genshin Impact, discovering this secret will require some more drastic measures. There's an island far away from Mondstadt region that you won't reach so easily just by flying to it, so the alternative solution would be to start walking from this part of the map and use Kaya's Frost Blast to freeze the water and walk towards the island. You can mix him together with the main protagonist to further extend the frozen road, but if you're struggling with the rotation, it's absolutely fine to just use Kaya, although it will take a little bit Bit longer. Walking to this island can take between 5 to 7 minutes, so be extra careful not to fall in the middle of the ocean. We won't spoil for you what's waiting at the island, but make sure before you venture off, you have at least one character who is level 40 or is capable of dealing good ranged damage. Bringing some healing and attack food won't hurt either. The city of Mondstadt has its own fair share of secrets and one of them involves the cathedral. You will visit this area quite a few times when you're on a mission, but the person you need to keep an eye on is a nun called Victoria. Choosing third dialogue option with her will award you an artifact. This is a 4 star cup artifact that is part of the Bloodstained Chivalry set, which you won't acquire until much later in the game, but this shouldn't stop you from using the artifact, especially if you get lucky with the main stat, for example getting physical damage bonus for our main physical damage dealer Razor makes him very happy. The artifact itself, as mentioned, will have a randomized main stat, but nonetheless, it will prove immensely useful, especially if you're just starting out. Just keep in mind that the power of the artifact, especially if it's 4 stars, relies heavily on you to upgrade its levels, so that you can unleash your character's full potential. If you've never robbed the bank before, now's the chance. At Liu City, you can start your heist by walking from the souvenir shop, which is signified by the diamond icon. Make your way towards the entrance of the bank, which you can identify if you see the woman guard called Nadia, who's standing right next to the door. Enter the bank and move right up the stairs, which leads you to a chest that will award you with 200,000 Mora. Now, depending on the situation, you might think that Mora is useless for you because you have so much of it, but later in the game, once you start leveling your weapons and characters, the amount of more you will need will increase exponentially. In short, make sure to keep revisiting the secret merchant Chloris for more materials needed to send your characters, while also keeping in mind that a lot of dishes you cook can be created with special bonuses by using the right characters. Of course, if you're looking to solve a fun puzzle, Nameless Island got you covered, and if you want some good loot, visiting the cathedral for a 4 star artifact and taking a chest from Liyue Bank will give you a nice head start. If you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Also, check out our playlist of other Genshin Impact beginner-friendly videos, which includes a tier list that you can also read on our website, gotchagamer.com. Thank you for watching us.